Okay, so, so as you could see, with the, with the sensors, with a power, powerful enough computer, and Miguel is also running on a Titan, Titan X, with a powerful enough computer, and all of these deep learning algorithms, sensor fusion algorithms, localization algorithms, path planning algorithms, all of this working on one software stack on one computer, it is possible to imagine yourself navigating down the road, uh, down the highway really safely. Now, of course, this isn't the information that the driver sees. One of the most important parts of self-driving cars is for the car, for you to gain the confidence that the car sees everything around the world properly, that the path that it plans to take is consistent with the path that you think it ought to take, and then over time you develop confidence in the self-driving car capability. And to show you that, the integration of all of this into the user experience where DrivePX now sends information, all of this information, to DriveCX, our infotainment system, so that it could be displayed all in real time so that you can gain the confidence necessary to self-drive. Uh, to do that, we have Justin who's going to come up and tell you all about that. Hey, Justin. Justin? Hey. So I want to I want to show you what we're working on to bring all of this in okay. here. Okay. So, all right. It's enormous, but uh, well, you okay. you know. Yeah. So, I I think I think that you now have the record, the world record for the world's largest infotainment system. I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. And, and like you said, I think uh, you know any self-driving experience needs to be considered from the cockpit from the user experience standpoint because that confidence when you get inside of a vehicle you can't see the body language you, can, you don't know what the car is going to do so we need to bring and distill all of this incredible amount of information into the car itself so um, like you were saying there's millions of points per second coming in we can't just throw all of this at the driver as they're going down the road. They won't understand what's happening. So we need to distill and refine the localization of where the vehicle is into both the lane, the, the here HD maps help us draw these lanes perfectly. Every vehicle that's coming past that's noticed by the LiDAR or by the cameras, refined and placed properly in their lanes. The so all of these cars that I see around, the, uh, around us right now, they're real cars. They're, they're I mean, real they're, not, cars. they're not some kind of arbit imaginary cars. They're real cars that yep. we've detected. Yep. And we know where they are in 3D space. We know how fast they're traveling. We know how fast we're traveling relative to it. Exactly. And we know what lanes they're all in now because we've, we've identified everybody. We've localized everybody. Yep. And we, right? we know the, the path that we're going to be taking, optional paths that we might be taking. Um, all of this information we can present in a very refined fashion so that somebody can relax and have a serene ride down the road. But how do we know that this isn't just a, a mock-up, some kind of a well, demo? I, you know, graphics. I think one of, the, one of the best things that we can see is actually what it looks like going down the road with real information. So if we okay. look at it with the video... Unfortunately, the we don't have a windshield in front of you, but let's put a, let's put a virtual windshield up here. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the actual information driving down 101 with the vehicles passing. All of this is being computed in real time. This is not a video down below. This is Look at that. It just changed lanes. The, the car in front of me just changed lanes. Two cars just come up next to us. We don't need rear view mirrors anymore. There's just no reason to ever have to look around you. Yeah, yeah you can uh, just loop there is all it's doing right there. And because our, our sensors are, are so robust and because we have so many redundant sensors, it is possible for us to detect all of these different cars around us with great deal of confidence. Yeah, very, very cool. And uh, another thing you can see is uh, the accuracy of the location. So up in the video, you see the off-ramp. You can see exactly the off-ramp happening here digitally. So we're placed very precisely inside of the lanes. Okay, so DrivePX doing all the sensor fusion, all the perception with deep learning, localization algorithms, path planning, essentially performing all of the computation on a supercomputer necessary for self-driving, sends the information to the DriveCX, which is now being displayed uh, in real time so that the driver has great confidence that the car sees what they see and the car is taking actions that are consistent with the path that they should take. Really great work. Thanks, Justin. Thank you.